Look at Silva. I mean, that's just oh, amazing. He and again, again, he's out. Anderson Silva what? has knocked down Boris Griffin. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 greatest UFC knockouts. Oh, he got For this list, we'll be looking at the craziest and most sensational knockouts in UFC history. Which of these knockouts would you put on a highlight reel? Be sure to let us know in the comments. Number 10, Rashad Evans versus Chuck Liddell, UFC 88. After winning six of his last seven fights, light heavyweight Rashad Evans was ready to take on his greatest challenge yet in the form of legend and former champion Chuck Liddell. It was the perfect opportunity to catapult himself into title contention, and Suga made the most of it. Oh, oh, oh. He's out, he's down, oh, Rashad God. Evans! Everybody's mouth was on the floor like, oh. Uh. During an exchange in the second round, Evans threw an overhand right and it connected perfectly on Liddell's chin. Everyone, including Evans, was in shock. The performance proved he was the real deal and more than just a wrestler. Subsequently earning a title shot and eventually claiming UFC gold against Forrest Griffin. Number 9, Holly Holm vs. Ronda Rousey, UFC 193. Several iconic head kick knockouts have been dubbed the kick heard around the world. This one earns that name with good reason. For UFC 193, the general public expected that bantamweight champion Ronda Rousey would steamroll through her opponent, Holly Holm. Instead, Holm shocked the world, stunning Rousey with a punch, followed by a head kick that knocked her out cold in the second round. Oh, Holly looking to finish! Oh, Holly Holm is the new UFC bantamweight champion of the world! With this highlight reel knockout, Holm pulled off one of the greatest upsets in MMA history to capture UFC gold. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Holly, the preacher's daughter. Number 8, Lyoto Machida vs. Vitor Belfort, UFC 224. The Dragon has a collection of incredible knockouts, but this one might take the cake. Facing Vitor Belfort at UFC 224, Machida hit him with a quick and lethal front kick in the second round. Oh! Lyoto Machida with the stutter! Yet another highlight reel knockout for the Dragon. Belford instantly hit the ground and was out before he even knew what hit him. You know a knockout is so devastating when the person who hit it bows down and prays in front of the person who received it. But let's not forget, this wasn't the first time he pulled off a front kick knockout. Oh my goodness! Oh my it is God. all over! Number 7, Gabriel Gonzaga versus Mirko Krokop. Oh my God! Heavyweight Mirko Krokop was famous for his kicks, so much so that a phrase, right kick hospital, left kick cemetery, was coined to describe his style. Unfortunately, he was on the receiving end of a devastating kick from his opponent, Gabriel Gonzaga, at UFC 70. In the very first round, Gonzaga hit Krokop with a head kick and he hit the floor like a rag doll. While it was already determined that the winner would face then heavyweight champion Randy Couture, Gonzaga couldn't have done a better job showing why he deserved a title shot. Number 6, Joaquin Buckley vs. Impa Kasanganai, UFC Fight Night 179. At this UFC Fight Night, Joaquin Buckley pulled off something straight out of an action movie. After his kick was caught by Impa Kasanganai, he still made sure to hit him in the craziest way possible. The back kick broke the internet, and Buckley put himself on notice, cementing himself as one of the UFC's most exciting new prospects. To no one's surprise, it earned him an accolade for the UFC's knockout of the year. We'd be hard pressed to see a knockout as wonderfully executed as this in the next few years. Number 5, Conor McGregor vs. Jose Aldo, UFC 194. Arguably one of the biggest and most highly promoted bouts in UFC history. Irish superstar Conor McGregor was ready to take on Jose Aldo to become the undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world. Despite months of buildup and anticipation, it didn't take McGregor too long to dismantle the Brazilian. Ah!
In just 13 seconds, McGregor knocked out Aldo by way of a vicious left hook that hit him right on the chin. It was the fastest knockout in a UFC title fight, and it further cemented McGregor's claim as one of, if not the biggest star on the UFC roster. Undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, the notorious Conor McGregor! Number 4. Francis Ngannou vs. Alistair Overeem, UFC 218 No one expected this bout to go the distance, and rightfully so. At UFC 218, Francis Ngannou cemented his place as one of the UFC's greatest knockout artists by landing this devastating uppercut on Alistair Overeem. Not a lot of people burning up Nick Maynard's phone to try to get a matchup with Ngannou! Oh! Oh! Goes the ream! Francis Ngannou has oh! arrived! The latter's head practically bounced, and as he fell to the ground, Nganu landed another vicious shot for good measure. While Overeem later described the knockout as the uppercut from hell, it's been widely credited as what catapulted Nganu into superstardom and made him one of the UFC's most popular fighters. Number 3. Jorge Masvidal vs. Ben Askren, UFC 239 the fastest knockout in UFC history. Jorge Masvidal demolished Ben Askren with this flying knee. The fight clock is brought to you by Modelo. Oh! 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 Askren wanted to go for the takedown immediately and paid for it dearly. The subsequent celebrations by Masvidal were also noteworthy, but there was a reason behind it all. Askren had a fair bit to say about Masvidal prior to the fight, so the lesson here everyone can take away is this. Tread lightly if you trash talk Jorge Masvidal. Things might not go your way. I saw some criticism. People say the punches weren't really necessary. Maybe They were super necessary. <laughs> Number 2. Edson Barboza vs. Terry Etta, UFC 142. Now this one looks like it came straight out of a video game. At UFC 142, Edson Barboza had kicked the living daylights out of Terry Edom. It, it really poses the question, what do you want to do? Do you right. want to take a chance and risk getting knocked out? Oh my god! Oh. Whoa! He was unconscious before he even hit the floor, and Barboza didn't even bother to pursue him to land additional strikes. Landing the first ever spinning wheel kick knockout, Barboza had officially arrived in the UFC and staked his claim as a contender in the lightweight division. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Chuck Liddell vs. Randy Couture, UFC 52. And he goes down! He's down! And Chuck Liddell! Oh, he is the new lightweight champion of the world! Anderson Silva vs. Vitor Belfort. UFC 126. Like we said, second to none. Oh! Kevin Lee versus Gregor Gillespie. UFC 244. Switching it up to the body. Oh! Yeah! Rich Franklin versus Nate Quarry, UFC 56. Again, oh, on the button, big out. Left and down goes out Quarry. Cold. Wow. Kamaru Usman versus Jorge Masvidal, UFC 261. And of all the superlatives. Oh! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Dan Henderson vs. Michael Bisping, UFC 100 In the second round of this fight, Dan Henderson landed an incredibly well-timed overhand on Michael Bisping's chin. That's it! Bisping frequently taunted Henderson prior to their fight, most notably during their stint as coaches on The Ultimate Fighter. So one can't help think there was some motivation and pent-up aggression put into that shot. Henderson's signature punch, often labeled as the H-bomb, was so hard, Bisping couldn't even remember being hit. Here we go again in slow motion. Boom! Separates him from his senses. And Bisping right now is sitting up and he's asking what happened. He has no idea what happened. With precision, timing, speed, and power, Henderson was able to land the ultimate shot on his rival. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.